I know you, you're a big proponent of uh, great people, great talent, and, and your business is your people. As we speak today, you have hundreds of people around the world that are kind of master of loyalists. I mean, they just, they're waiting for your next move to put the band together. Two questions, Mark. A, how do you identify great talent? Right? Sometimes you have to do it in a short time. And B, how do you retain them to be loyal to? Some of your people have been working with you for 25, 30 years. Yeah, good, good question. I mean, I, you know, loyalty is something you earn and try and maintain, right? So my view is it's never given. But I'm always very loyal to my people. I do whatever it takes. I, I believe the pyramid's upside down. I work for you. Whatever you need. If it's help, you know, personal help, if it's financial help, if it's anything that's going on in your life, I'm there for you. So I think that most of the folks that have worked with me recognize that and see that, that I'm just going to be right at you, tell you the truth at all times, and uh, support you the best way I can. I'm also going to compensate you in a big way, right. more, more than probably everybody else, because, I mean, I look at you as my partner. Everybody's a partner, so I want you to do well and perform well and earn well if you can and if you want to. Um, but, you know, globally, you know, the beauty is finding talent and recognizing talent. It's kind of like you're a savant when you mm -hmm. see someone swing the bat or pitch mm -hmm. or throw the ball. You can tell in five minutes if they're, you know, of quality or not. And I think on my side, it's the same thing, is I have a pretty good knack for being able to identify talent and recognizing good quality in people. And it's, you know, it's like when you're around certain people, you just, they have this charisma. And I always, always say they're the mayor of the town. And when you find the mayor of the town, whether they're 17 year old or 35 year old, you got the right person. And how long does it take you? I mean, they, like for me, if I see a, an athlete walking into the Yankee clubhouse, I, I usually sometimes I'm wrong, but you know, eight or nine times, you, you're pretty within kind of a bucket of, of where you think this person may end up. And sometimes it takes five minutes, sometimes it takes five hours. But for you, how quickly can you identify that talent? And what are the things you're looking for? Is it speaking skills, writing skills? What are the things that jump off the page for you? Yeah, uh, a lot of times it's, it's hard to identify passion, right? You can see talent, physical talent, ability, and intelligence. But, you know, will they put the effort in? Do they have that hunger? But once you get the ability to kind of spend time with people and see all of that, you know, you can recognize it in a few minutes. And then... I always believed in giving people the opportunity and saying, hey, it's your opportunity. I'm here to support you and help you. So is our team. But it's your opportunity to go chase after it and get after it. And those that really wanted it did, and they elevated to higher levels. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it took people a couple of years. Sometimes it took them a couple of days. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody was a little bit different. But, you know, we kind of developed a culture that was really caring and supportive and had a lot of training around it so we could teach and develop people. And I used to tell everybody, look, you may not stay here the rest of your life, but everything you learn here, you will apply the rest of your life. And you'll look back and say, you know, these are the, the guiding principles and the, the things that I needed to be successful that I learned here. Mm -hmm.